And we're back. Folks, I tell you, I'm having an incredible time here at the NADP conference in beautiful Palm Springs. And I'm meeting some extraordinary individuals who are doing big things in real estate. And I have with me such a person, Melody Gamble, out of, uh, oh, Prince George County. Yes. All the way here in Southern California. <laughs> How do you like the weather out here? It's beautiful, Isn't absolutely it? gorgeous. So, yes. you know, I live here 24-7. <laughs> You couldn't pull me to a southern state or, or really anywhere outside of California, but uh, there's a, it's a beautiful area where you live. Yes, it is. And we have been actually experiencing great weather this, wow. this uh, winter, so I'm thankful for that. So, so Mel, <laughs> tell our audience a little bit about yourself. You are an icon in our industry. You've been in the business a long time doing big things, well known. So introduce yourself to our audience. Well, first of all, you're very kind, Eric, so thank you for that. I am a 24-year veteran in the real estate industry. This is my 18th year in default services. And what what can I tell you? What, what is it that company, you would like to know? The name of the company, okay. where you're located. Absolutely. So my company is 212 Degrees Realty. We are a minority-owned, woman-owned business. We were founded in 2009 after my... I call it a sabbatical, but actually it was me fighting breast cancer. I, I founded the company the year that I was diagnosed, treated, and survived breast wow. cancer. Wow, that's awesome. Yes. And I love the name of your company. People don't know what 212 means, so break <laughs> that down for us. Sure. So the premise is at 211 degrees, water boils, and at 212 degrees, it produces steam. With steam, you can power a locomotive. It's just that one extra degree. So my tagline is experience the one degree difference. Wow. I <laughs> love that. I absolutely right. love that. You know, we need to talk about that because that is such a great name. I'm wondering a few things and we'll get into that <laughs> after the, when the cameras are off. But okay. now you're here yes. in Palm Springs at the conference. Yes. How long have you been a member of NADP? So I actually started when they were Rio Mac. Okay, so you go <laughs> so back. Quite a while, quite a while, right. So that's a long time. It now, is. Uh, so Rio Mac was, uh, is now NADP, and it's right. been around for a long time. <laughs> yes. And uh, what have been some of the benefits you've gotten out of membership? And, and do you recommend that everyone who wants to get into the default space get into REO Mac or Real NADP? <laughs> Absolutely. So it never hurts to be a part of a well-established organization such as NADP because it, number one, it lends to your credibility that you are an expert in the industry. And there are several other organizations that are membership based. Quite often you have to apply and have to be accepted. So that was the whole thing around being a part of Rio Mac back in the day is that you actually had to qualify and and be vetted before you could be approved to even be a part of the association. I remember. And so it is, it's an incredible opportunity, and I would say because you're amongst the best of the best. And I'm here today because you can never stop learning. Anyone who stops learning, well, you might as well just go ahead and lay it down. <laughs> wow. wow, just, just so, get out, right? right just get exactly. out. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Make more room for you, right? <laughs> or those who are coming behind me. <laughs> right, I have, exactly. I have three boys who are totally ready to take on the mantle. So, wow, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> so seriously, your boys are in the business now? Or are they? Well, they're, they're coming. I have one that is legal. Okay. Uh, that can actually get his license, and I have another one that will be legal in two weeks. Okay, oh, fantastic. <laughs> that he could sit and get his license. Wow. Yeah. That, so is, that is so great <laughs> when families can work together, yes. uh, build a legacy in real estate. Absolutely. And I know that owning real estate is important to you as well. Building yes. a legacy, uh, generational wealth is an issue in our community, and I know yes. you speak on that. You do a lot of speaking. I do. So I, have you published a book or anything yet? Are you about ready to do that? <laughs> Tell us about it. I did publish a book yeah. in 2017 mm -hmm. entitled um, Unintended Consequences, The Great Recession's Impact on Communities of Color. Mm. So where I talk about the Great Recession and what happened and how 
essentially um, the wealth in the black community was disseminated. So. Wow. Yeah. So you are definitely you're a member of the National Association of Real Estate Brokers. You're I very am. involved in black institutions and all about helping African Americans, you know, close that gap of home ownership. The rate of home ownership was the lowest in our group, right? Yes. And so you're all about it. And yes. that 212 degrees is is uh, alive and well. In fact, yes. um, you know, are you thinking about maybe having a podcast or a TV show <laughs> because of your personnel? I'm putting you on the spot here, folks. I know. So this is live, and I just <laughs> used the word dis uh, disseminated, and I meant decimated. <laughs> so that, that, so I want to edit that. Um, and as far as a podcast, it is up for consideration. Mm, yes. I have a lot on my plate right now. I yeah. just ended my term as being president of the Prince George's County Association of Realtors. Okay. And speaking of NARAB, I am about to step into the presidency for my local NARAB chapter. Wow. And I also sit on the, I sit on two commissions for the governor around appraisal bias. And also I sit on the commission for appraisal management companies and appraisers in the state of Maryland. So I have a lot going on right now. So podcast, I'm not sure. <laughs> it may be coming soon. Wow. Stay tuned. Wow. Stay <laughs> hopefully right here, folks, and the power is now. Now, now I'm going to let you get some food here before I do. Yes. We have a tradition on this show where we ask mm -hmm. our guests, what does the phrase, the power is now, mean to you in the context of who you are and what you do professionally? So I think I told you this the very first time you asked me that question, and that it remains, it was years, years ago, ago, right? Yes. It remains true to this day. The power is now in the context of me, What, how it resonates with me is my favorite Bible passage is 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, which clearly says that God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power love yes, and a sir. sound mind, with Come on power now. being the first. Yes, ma'am. So power is now, that is what it means to me, because I know that I have the power to totally change my life and help impact the lives of others. And that is what I do. I strive to serve every single day someone and leave them better than how I found them. So I hope that this interview has made you smile. <laughs> wow. <laughs> now, that was hot. That was... <laughs> Come on now. The power is now, power and you're living it. Yes. Surviving cancer, leading to the community, leading our industry, representing our community. Honestly, I bow down. I bow oh, down. No. All right. Thank you. Thank well, you. folks, Thank you. there we have it. Melanie Gamble.